Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Mergula and today we're going to be starting our unit on budgeting and its benefits. In today's video, we'll be talking about what a budget is and how one budgets. So let's begin. First, we'll be talking about what budgeting is. And in order to answer this question, we'll have to answer another question first. What do you think of when you think of budgeting? You might Think of, say, limiting your spending. For example, if you normally spend around $200 a month on entertainment, like Spotify Premium or Netflix or going to the movies with your friends or new video games, and this causes you to have to struggle to find money to purchase clothes and such, you may want to look into budgeting so that you could still spend money on entertainment but not have to struggle. You might also think about having certain amounts of money for certain things or of having to re or of having to restrain yourself when you really want to buy something but can't afford it because you know you have to use that money for something else. Essentially, in order to budget, you have to allocate certain amounts of money for certain things in order to use your money wisely. So how would you do this? Of course, everyone has their own ways of picking up new habits, but I'd personally recommend starting slow at first. This allows you to get used to budgeting and to see if your spending limits for each item are reasonable within that particular time frame. For instance, if you allocated like $40 a month for food, you'll quite quickly find that that's pretty unsustainable. So budgeting can, starting slow with budgeting can help you stick to your spending goals. Additionally, you can make a table in order to visually represent your spending limits. It's detailed on this slide. This is basically my personal budget. I really like music, especially singing and playing the ukulele. And if I wanted to start sharing my music, I might want a microphone to record it with. Now, I've done research and I've noticed that beginner microphones for those who want to record music cost around $150, so how can I reasonably budget for this? Well, for starters, I have to take into account how much money I'm allowed to spend per month and how much money I spend on each category detailed per month. Because I'm a minor who lives with my parents, I don't really spend anything on food by myself. And I don't really buy clothes that often either, but just to be safe, I'm going to allow around $30 in that part of the budget. $20 will go towards entertainment, like for instance, if I wanted yarn for a knitting project, or if I wanted to buy sheet music, that would go in the entertainment category. And since that's pretty much all I spend on, I'll have around $50 left to go towards the microphone. Now, I can't spend $50 for a $150 microphone right now, but if I waited a couple months and continued to follow this budget, eventually I'd have saved up, saved up enough money to buy the microphone. So I hope you enjoyed this video on what budgeting is and how you can budget and that it was helpful. Please leave any questions you might have in the comment section. And I'll see you back at the next video where we'll be talking about why budgeting is helpful and beneficial. So I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye.